Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to uh, talk about uh, Sabaton's fourth studio album, uh, which is The Art of War, which is uh, based on uh, Sun Tzu's Art of War, obviously. <laughs> uh, so if I were to quickly summarize my thoughts, uh, on the album as a whole without uh, going into uh, too much detail. Uh, it's epic and bombastic. And they finally, uh, only because they finally got the sound like they got the synths down in the background and the keyboard solos is almost gone only that the ghost vision has a solo and i don't really like it but regardless it sounds freaking amazing uh, and if i were to uh, point out uh, a couple of uh, songs i'm really fond of and it's actually and they're actually uh, among my favorites. It's Clips of Gallipoli and The Price of a Mile. And I now realize that uh, both of them are based on uh, World War One or The Great War. And uh, they, uh, they are exactly what I like about, uh, about uh, Sabaton. They tell a great story. And they are very uh, emotional. Oh, and obviously the solos in both of them. Simply amazing. S especially in uh, the clips of Gallipoli. And speaking of uh, that song. Damn, the piano or the keyboard in that uh, song. Specifically in the songs opening and during the chorus god damn that is that is the reason why I love uh, keyboards uh, sounds uh, though, I, though I did say I don't really like it when they are used for solos but regardless and fun fact I actually uh, used uh, the intro, uh, the op opening uh, uh, seconds uh, to that uh, song as a ringtone. Uh, tone. So uh, every time I I uh, heard that, I was like, "Oh God!" Like a little uh, uh, heart attack. So, uh, oh, and the price of my is just uh, over overall. A great, great uh, song, a and with uh, uh, one of uh, one of uh, Sabaton's uh, greatest air uh, choruses ever. Obviously, it isn't uh, in uh, top three, but uh, maybe uh, top five. Oh, and also, how can I talk about uh, this great album without even mentioning? Swedish pagans, which surprise, uh, surprisingly did, didn't even get uh, added in it uh, in its uh, original uh, release. It got uh, released uh, in the uh, Reyond uh, version. And uh, oh yeah, uh, Swedish pagans uh, first. Uh, great track, great meme, and I. Fucking love that uh, uh, Joachim hates the song for whatever, you, whatever reason. I don't know why it's so fucking uh, catchy. And I love singing it. And also, I have actually uh, sung or uh, done a cover on it. If you uh, look at my uh, uh, covers. Uh, playlist, but I uh, watched this uh, video first, obviously, 
And if I were to touch upon the rearmed part of uh, the uh, album, this might actually be uh, uh, one of the best uh, uh, rearmed uh, versions because it actually uh, uh, contains a pre production uh, demo of uh, The Art of War and uh, not uh, one of, uh, I don't know, Atari At 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 Dominatus because uh, that will uh, really make sense. So I appreciate that they actually added a uh, Art of War uh, demo as a bonus. Uh, Glorious uh, Land, actually a good track, but I can't really get into it. And uh, the only odd thing out is the Swedish uh, national uh, anthem, um, which is uh, the version. It's uh, it's the best. Though, then again, I haven't uh, heard many uh, versions of the uh, national uh, song, and this is just my bias because I'm a Sabaton fan, so obviously I prefer Sabaton's uh, uh, version of the song. But uh, the only reason why it's one of the uh, uh, songs that is just weird to include on this uh, album is because um, it's about uh, Sweden and it's uh, not like related to uh, uh, the Art of uh, War but book uh, which is uh, what every song on the original uh, version of the album is about well uh, I don't know if uh, any of any of the uh, other uh, bonus uh, tracks really relates to the Art of uh, War but it's just that Sweden's national anthem is it's a really odd inclusion, but it's still a good, uh, great uh, version of it. So uh, if I were to uh, uh, rank this uh, album, it's really, really high. And that's a lot for me to say, since it's actually one of their earlier albums. But it's actually the beginning of uh, Sabaton's uh, uh, sound, and from there they just continue to evolve from that, and that is why I really appreciate uh, them, or oh, that is what I really like them for. Uh, but if I were to rank it, uh, maybe an A. Uh, uh, like a high A. I don't know, I really have to uh, think about this uh, more thoroughly when I do, in fact, decide to uh, rank them for real. So, uh, that's it for me uh, today. I'm sorry if this uh, video is like all over the place. It's just that uh, I'm not uh, that good when it comes to uh, reviewing stuff. I just uh, want to talk about the uh, Sabaton albums, that's all. Uh, so that's it for me, uh, tell me what you think about this album and tell me what you think about uh, this uh, video, so uh, see you guys another time and hopefully not like, like two months from now, <laughs> I still have to do a, a coat of arms uh, video, so <laughs> yeah. Be uh, seeing you, and goodbye.